Skoda is certainly taking their time to enter the sub 4 meter SUV party, but they're coming in with a bang. Indians have decided the name of this SUV as the Skoda Kailak. And to talk more about this, we have Peter Yaneba, the brand director of Skoda India. Peter, thank you for joining us on CNBC TV 18 as well as Overdrive. You're beaming. Is this the name that you were banking on as well? Thank you very much for inviting. Pleasure is all mine. It is from today the most favorite name which which I had, but I, until yesterday I was thinking about a, a different one. It was very secret; nobody knew what the name is coming out. Uh, yeah, but the the Indians embrace Kailak as the most uh, uh, as the name number one. But it is a very bold move to have yeah. Indian consumers decide the name of a yeah. SUV which is coming out for the market. But is it something that you will see going forward as well? You know, will it become a norm in the future? Okay, this this car is a very special car. I mean, the sub four meter segment in India is a very special segment, uh, which has as well its advantages and its local regulation, which in other countries is not so much valid. We don't disclose to export this car and we are planning to export this car, but we so far did not prepare these cars in the left hand drive version. So we are still continuing for the left hand drive market to export our car in Kushak okay. and Slavia. But uh, for the right hand drive markets, even Kailak would be then accessible. But first we serve our customers here in India right. and if we still have enough, then we export. What is the timeline, the launch timeline? Will we be seeing it pretty soon? Will booking start pretty soon? Uh, so there are some steps still to come. As we said, we have started our journey like countdown one year before uh, mm. in, in, in February. So that means in February we will have everything in plans. Uh, new dealership uh, and as well current dealership with all our current uh, people well trained and understanding all the customer needs at the same point of time. We will be ramping up the production already static uh, from the end of this year. Uh, so February is everything up and running. You can test drive the car and you can uh, find out yourself whether it is the best car in the segment or second best car in the segment or uh, whatever so place it will be. Before? And but there are a lot of things expected before. We have to make a worldwide premiere. Okay. which will be done again in India because it's our car here. Okay. But it, we still call it worldwide premiere because the car will be as well exported and everywhere right. will be named Kailak or all around the world. Yeah. Right. So um, and there are a lot of other engagement topics, including uh, announcing of the price and start of booking. But please allow us to keep still some small secrets uh, until it's coming. Yeah. So it is a price sensitive market. So how do you plan to deal with that competition? We are aware what means uh, for Indians to be price sensitive. We understand that Skoda has its values and we don't uh, uh, we don't make compromises. We don't make compromises on safety. We don't make compromises on quality. Uh, but at the same point of time, uh, price is number one in this segment. And, and we are aware and we can say this car will be a very price competitive car, probably the most price competitive car in our current range. How are you going to differentiate it in terms of a product from the rivals that we already see, considering it's taken so long for Skoda to enter this space? Yeah, I mean, the decision to enter this segment was, was not very easy because, as I said, uh, uh, export potential is limited mm -hmm. be because people would still buy a bigger car mm -hmm. uh, uh, very probably. At the same point of time, once you want to grow and we want to grow in India, and <coughs> one day, and this is for us a, a true enabler for on our mission, when one day we have to cross uh, one lakh cars being sold a year, and, and this is the car. So, so, so that's your projection? That's what you're looking at? We are targeting uh, a lot of numbers, some of them even more ambitious, but, but uh, considering that <coughs> in the past, when we have been only dealing with parts and components mm -hmm. in our uh, uh, Aurangabad, Chhatrapati, Sambhaji Nagar plant, yeah. uh, so, so uh, at that time, five years, took us to sell one lakh car. Mm. The, when we started our Slavia and Kushak, it took us two years mm. to sell one lakh car. And uh, now with this car, it should be one year. No? So we are going faster. What do you think has changed in all these years? Do you think the perception of uh, cust customers for the Skoda brand has changed? for you to have such optimistic projections? <coughs> I think what, what, what has really changed is um, 
the focus of, of Skoda on India. We were always here like at home because we are 24 years on the market, mm -hmm. but uh, we were here like at home still on a very niche market, like covering 20% of a potential market. Now with this car, we will finally cover <coughs> 85% at least and and this is a this is a big responsibility and 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 this is a big breakthrough because in the end of the day what will happen today there are probably a lot of potential customers for slavia and kushak in the tier three tier four level cities but we don't have our dealers there because uh, the business case for them the feasibility would not be working with them there is a very low car park of skuda and the sales will be very limited mm -hmm. with this car we can finally set up a dealership coming closer to uh, our customers and cover the whole india what will help the whole brand elevate not only this car but thanks to kailak right so you did touch up on the tier 3 and tier 4 cities that you're uh, planning to penetrate to so what i want to understand from you is what what are the cities that you're looking at and also how do you plan to increase the number of dealerships as well as service touch points how many in terms of numbers okay so very good question <coughs> about the concrete cities i cannot tell you but we will have 100 percent coverage of tier 3 cities and we are looking even to tier 4 cities mm. so th this is uh, but it will go step by step so first we establish the sales but immediately we follow up with after sale because we understand that proximity of of the touch point especially for after sales is very important by the sales decision in the regions more than 350 touch points uh, uh, during next year is our target to achieve so it means that we have to expand more than 100 touch points from now and that is in the tier 3 and tier 4 cities uh not not but only but mainly yes okay okay um talking about uh, moving ahead uh, of course, the 1 litre and 1.5 litre are doing really well in India, but is there a possibility of having an affordable EV in the market or even, you know, considering a hybrid powertrain from Skoda in India? Oh, so, uh, good, good question. So, we are definitely coming with the EV. I mm. mean, we, we are quite successful with our uh, EV uh, 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 cars in, in Europe and we will bring six EVs globally uh, within the next three years. However, in India, all these EVs, and probably not all of them, but half of them will be only uh, uh, brought in uh, as a CBUs or parts and components car. For being competitive in, in the EV market, as is the expectation of the customers, we need to go uh, for a local, deeply localized product. And in order to understand what is right, so, uh, is a hybrid still intermediate solution? We don't think so. But if from the government regulation, mm. it would come up as a solution number one, mm. we are ready to invest even there. However, EV is our preferred solution because we have a lot of uh, EV expertise from Europe as well from uh, China, from our own companies and as well joint ventures. So we are looking for the best possible solution here. But again, the, there are still some things missing in the puzzle which are related to the fame three which should be hopefully announced in the end of this year and then we take a final call okay so no affordable ev yet just to get that uh, not yet definitely within the next three years how okay. fast it depends on the regulation okay what are your thoughts on the social media chatter about skoda rethinking their plans for india I know that you're coming up with a new product. Rethinking in then, what, what then sense? You mean leaving India or? Yeah. yeah, I have heard such a rumors. I mean, I, I like very much all media, but we know what it is about. I mean, you sometimes need a, a, a headline which makes the people curious and, and then everything what you write is true, yeah. but the headline is a catchy one. But people like sensations. No? So, so uh, after several brands has left and some of them, I don't need to name them, are coming back because nobody can ignore India being the market number three in the world overtaking Japan last year. I mean, this is something what none of the manufacturers in, in the world can ignore. And the only thing is 
what kind of product portfolio and on what price levels and how can I manufacture the cars locally because I think government makes a very smart moves in the direction that a lo lot of uh, uh, work and, and, and part of the industry and GDP would be done here okay. and the question is you need some level of the investment uh, and, 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 and both statement. I mean we are here 24 years there is absolutely no reason because of the potential of the market that we would leave the market on contrary after after we close our operations in russia on 22 india is becoming our uh, 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 out of Europe market number one yeah, okay. uh, for Skoda. All right, thank you so much and congratulations once again on the name. It's, it's pretty cool. Thank you very much. Thank we are you. very happy you like it.